everyone I am here with an unboxing video Yay! Um, you probably already know what it is because of the title this is kind of a weird unboxing for me um, because I had ordered this deck and then um, there was the whole controversy which I've made several videos on about Doreen Virtue so um, I ordered this deck and like I said that this whole controversy kind of happened and I thought about, ooh, like, do I want it? Do I not want it? Um, because now I feel like, you know, it's been kind of tainted, her whole, uh, like, in some ways, some of her stuff. So it is the Animal Tarot Cards um, by Dream Virtue and Radley Valentine. So as you know, if you don't know, you know, uh, Dream Virtue converted to Christianity no, which is fine um, but then she denounced the tarot and mediumship and things like that so and that's the part that's not cool so the thing is though she had this deck coming out when she did that and there's also um, a crystal angels deck that's coming out as well so she's asked that her name be taken off um, the her decks that she's made um, so I guess for the future when they produce them again it'll have maybe Radley Valentine or whoever else she's worked with names on the deck but not hers so part of me was like "Ooh, do I get this because I'm kind of you know to be honest like turned off by her now um, but I do want to support Radley Valentine apparently she's not going to be getting any of the money from the tarot decks um, and I, I don't have any problem with Radley Valentine I don't know a lot about him to be honest but I don't have any issues with him I think he's fine um, and also part of me as a collector went well they're gonna be taking her name off very soon off of these decks. So it's kind of like, get them while you can because you know her name's gonna be coming off of it soon. So, um, so I decided to just kind of go ahead and leave the order anyway. I also kind of, you know, I thought if I don't, if I really don't like the cards and can't work with them, um, I can always give them to somebody else who does enjoy them. So, you know, in a way it's kind of like, what's the harm, right? Um, so I'm going to give this an honest review and try to not be colored by the whole Doreen Virtue thing and just look at them as a deck because part of me also feels like, well, it's not really the card's fault, you know, um, that she went and did this. So, and then part of me also feels a little rebellious too because she's like, don't use tarot. Um, and here I am, you know, using one of her decks. So, what ifs, you know? So anyway, let's get with the unboxing. Blah, blah. All right, so plastic comes off, plastic over there. It is your typical Hay House box. And um, because it's tarot deck, it is, you know, pretty thick box, very sturdy. You have a cat on the, uh, on the cover there with a the sunflower. Typical box, you know, nice and sturdy. Okay, so, well, that's kind of cute. It's got like sunflowers on the side. There's a rabbit there. Oh, there's a horse there. The inside just has like kind of, I guess it's like a butterfly on the inside. Okay, it's a cute box. So the box is cute. Then we've got your standard Hay House type book um, over here. I guess I don't need these scissors anymore. Put those over there. So you've got your standard thing here. Okay. It is about. Da, da, da. 188 pages so that's pretty good so contents says how to work with the tarot cards um, and then like how to take care of it you know clearing your deck preparing the cards asking a question um, I noticed she, even here she's getting quite Christian because she says says dear God although you know I guess that could be any religion but it's getting a little more you know uh, there's a three card spread there's a Celtic cross, your traditional. And then it goes into the major arcana. So she has like um, a thumbnail here. And then there's a, um, a little write up there. So it goes through and I think, yeah, the minor arcana um, has the same kind of write up. Like, you know, each of them gets about two pages, page and a half of write up. Um, so the way she's divided it, it looks like it's in seasons um, for the four suits. So winter fall, spring, summer. So we shall see how that goes. But anyway, there's the book. Pretty standard. All right. All right. The edges are not 
gilded. Um, I would have liked to see that. Oh, look, the bottom has that same little um, butterfly as well. I've got to cut that. Okay, I guess I do still need the scissors. Put the box over there. Da da da. Okay. All right. Alrighty, let's get on with this. Okay, so size-wise, um, it's kind of your standard Hay House tarot deck. Um, I have the Good Tarot by Colette Baron Reed. It's about that same kind of size, too. That's the back, so it's not reversible. So if you're looking at doing reversibles, um, you know, this might be a deterrent. It's not a deterrent for me, but that's the back there. You have your cute little kitty on the throne. Cardstock, typical Hay House. You know, it's kind of that shiny kind of laminate. Um, you know, not too thick, but not too thin either. I like having it thin enough to, you know, rifle shuffle if you want, but not paper, paper thin. So that's, that's okay. I do wish the edges were gilded. I just like that so much. Okay. So the first is the fool and we have the dreamer. And first I have to say these borders are quite, quite thick, thicker than they usually are. Um, but I am glad that uh, some of her decks, like the Guardian Angel Tarot, half, almost half of it is text. So I'm glad that there's not a ton of text here. Um, she's changed the name from the Fool to the Dreamer. We've got a little puppy here chasing some rainbows. So that's kind of cute there. And then we have the Magician. She's a unicorn. So obviously the Major Arcana all have this purple. Um, the High Priestess is an owl. Unless there's a lot of butterflies and stuff, which makes sense. I won't show you them all. Um, some of these choices, like the Emperor is a deer mouse. I would not pick that for the Emperor, I have to say. Um, and then she changed the Hierophant to Unity. She chose as a polar bear. The Lovers of Flamingos, I can see that. And the chariot, his horses. Um, H, she's put as justice rather than strength. Okay, so I won't show you them all, but anything that's notable. Strength, of course, so she put the lion and the lamb, how very Christian of her, but um, that's fine. I'm trying not to be colored by this. Um, there's nothing wrong with being Christian, I have to say. I'm just, just turned off for the whole Doreen Virtue thing. That's all I have to say. I know, Lou. Just get over it, Lou. Just get past this. All right. So the hangman is the draft. I think that's actually a really cute one. Um, I'm not really sure why she picked the peacock for death, but I, you know, I'm going to read the book and see a little bit more what she thinks. Um, she put the Siamese cat as the devil, which is ego. Not sure I feel about that one. The tower is life experience and the cuckoo. I would not have picked that. Um, yeah, some of these are a little, a little bit strange choices for me. Um, raccoon for judgment. We have renewal. I kind of almost view this more as an oracle deck than tarot, just the way this is kind of going. And then for the world, she's another dog. It seems like she's got various horses and dogs and cats in here. Um, there we go. Okay, so spring, it looks like, is the suit of fire. The ace of spring, she's got the tiger. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hurry up before I run out of battery just to show you all this. It doesn't seem to be a particular, uh, some animal decks will have sort of like in, you know, the suit of cups or water, more aquatic animals, air, more, you know, birds and things. It doesn't seem to be that right now with what's going on. Um, six of spring, she's a rescue dog. I guess success, I mean, we've been adopted. Um, seven of spring, we have the gecko. So I'm not entirely sure of her choices or Radley Valentine, for that matter, choices. Um, also, too, there's a lot of, um, someone had commented human things, like it's not just animals in it, like the Princess of Spring is the monarch butterfly, but you can see there's a crown there and a 
a pillow. So a lot of human type artifacts in it. Not necessarily bad, but the continuity there of it. Um, Queen of Spring, uh, the Queen of Wands is what's on the back. So cat. Well, that makes sense because, you know, Queen of Wands usually do have a cat pictured in them. King of Spring is the lion. Okay, Summer is water. So we have the dove as the ace. The two as lovebirds. See, this one, like, that makes sense, right? Um, I'm just going to hurry up and show you. I mean, it's a cute deck, but I, I feel like it's almost more of an oracle deck than a tarot tarot deck. Um, let's see. Ten of Summer. Oh, we have Prairie Dog. That makes sense, too. Family. So some of them, some of the choices, I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. And others, I'm like, oh, I'm not sure what they're thinking here. Oh, cute. The Princess Summer is a little frog. Not very cute. Uh, Queen of Summer is a swan. Queen of Cups. And the King is the Emperor Penguin. Very cute. Okay, and then Winter, that's Swords. Okay, three of Winter, the Grosbeak. Oh, a cute little koala for resting. That's very cute. Um, this cat looks startled. I have to show you this. Six of winter, or six of swords. The cat would not be happy on a boat. Yeah. You know, unless it's a big sailing ship, they have cats on them. But anyway, the cat looks startled. I'd be startled if I was a cat on a small boat. That's kind of cute. Eight of swords. Cage. All right. Let's see if we've got any other interesting things here. It's kind of weird, this whale with a crown on it. Other ones didn't bother me so much, like the frog, because of the whole, like, frog prince story. But the whale, uh, a little bit weird. Ace of Autumn, we have another cat. Very much into cats, I see. So Autumn is the, um, oh, there's another cat from the two of Autumn. Lots of cats and dogs. Um, that is Pentacles or Earth. Uh, four Autumn, uh, I can understand that's Squirrel. That one makes sense. Um, da -da -da. <laughs> this cow also looks startled and confused. Kind of cute, the parrot reading the book. And the Nine of Autumn. There's a cat lounging. That makes sense. Um, oh dear, this one looks also kind of cartoony and cheesy as well. That is Princess of Autumn. Alright. So I think that's about it. The Queen may have a rabbit. That makes sense. Um, I'm going to have to really look at these cards a little bit more. My first kind of impression is that some of them make sense and some of them don't. And that some of them, um, you know, the pictures are fine and others I'm like, mm, that's a little cheesy. It's not enough to totally turn me off. And I have to kind of, like I said, separate myself from the whole issue. I have to kind of think of this as a Radley Valentine deck because I, I, I suspect in the last few years anyway, Doreen's name has been slapped on a lot of things that she may not have had a whole lot to do with. So... Um, other than her name. I do like that they have the suits indicated by the colors around them. I think the borders could be a little smaller, um, but I do appreciate that there's less writing on the bottom. I know they tend to be writing on the bottom of these ones. I, I, I mean, obviously I don't need writing or care about that, but um, I know that it's kind of a Hay House thing, or at least a Doreen Virtue Radley Valentine thing with their cards to have that on the bottom. So, um, yeah, but that's my, my impression is so, so right now. I'm going to work with it a bit, see what I think. Uh, let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. I'll talk to you later.